Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. And tonight I'm joined by Wolf Has Quack. Hello, Wolf! <laughs> so, um, just so you guys know, Wolf does have a microphone, but she's only got one USB port, so she can only use either a mouse or microphone at any given time. So I told her, yeah, sure, we can do a collaboration, but there's no voice. So she's going to just be talking here in the chat right over here. So I'm going to keep that open so she can ch chat to us. Let's go get some ice wood. Ice wood! Woo! And there is um, a secret over there. Have you heard about the secret? This awesome Easter egg that Defaultio has placed. Hold up. Why is there so much lag? Oh my goodness. I'm like laggy lag. Close that. Maybe, maybe that was it. Ah, there we go. That's better. The tower? No, the lighthouse. Um, looking at pictures of it, it looks like it's from a project that Defaultio did. Yeah, that's what she meant. <laughs> it looks like it's from a, a project that Defaultio did where um, it's a um, lighthouse on a beach and structure. He did it on a live stream. Anyhow, if you were back then, I think it was almost two years ago. It might have been a year and a half ago. But he did it on live stream, like uh, a live modeling, and he went off of a, a photograph, the Mallory Project or something. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Anyhow, it was an amazing build. And that's the structure that he used. I mean, it's, it, I, it's probably the same model. I, I would say it's the same model. Anyhow, I gotta find the, the cave. Where's this, this thing's at? Okay, there's the there's the first hole, and that's leaning down from the top of the mountain there. That's that's not it, was it? This one here? That? Is that what you're talking about? Where, where, where was it? Where, I didn't see it. That is just the ramp. Yeah, that's that's just the ramp. I don't know where this other thing's at. I might have to start looking through walls. If you guys haven't seen me look through walls before, I will show you the trickery behind that. Okay. I think we have to go up this ramp, right? By the way, I wanted to try something while we're here. So this right here leads straight off. Do you see that? I want to jump it. <laughs> People took screenshots. <laughs> She's like, no, don't jump in. Should we go get the wood first and then, and then we'll jump? Don't risk it. Oh, I'm totally risking it. All right, uh, tell you what, I'm going to drop you off here so you can go up and start chopping some wood. And then I'm going to take off down there. Whee! I don't even know where that, that extra cave thingy is. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, everyone. <gasps> Wait, do I see a hole? I see a hole. Hold on. Let's go over there. Oh, oh. By the way, Defaultio definitely changed the uh, friction. I don't think Defaultio did it himself. I think Roblox changed the the friction values because everything's slick now. Like I can't walk up anything. Used to, I could long plank for days, 85 degree angles. It was crazy. Hmm. Coffee break, coffee break. By the way, um, links to Wolf's channel will be in the description down below, as well as over on her channel, she will have links to my my links. Her description will contain links to my channel in her video. So if you want to see it from her perspective and what she's seeing, go check that out. It's one of the reasons we do the collapse is to get two perspectives on the same game, on the same thing. Want me to throw down the ramp? Well, we can do it two ways. We can throw down here and throw it in the back of the truck, or we can throw it down the ramp. Your choice. Oh, gosh. 
I don't even know where the lighthouse is. Yeah, throw it down to the truck, and then we'll just drive it back. I've got some TNT on me. That way, if it it seals back up. But I did blow up the uh, the road or the the rocks, and there were still two large rocks up there at the top. So that was. Uh, hold on. I'm still trying to look around for the the lighthouse area. Maybe is it up there? What is that? Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Somebody said it was around the corner. How many trees? All of them. Every single one. <laughs> of course I want all the trees. <laughs> she's like, okay. Um, by the way, I don't think she's going to be able to... <gasps> Ooh, I almost walked off the edge. Oh, that was scary. Uh, I don't think she's going to be able to stay with us for the entire episode, so when she has to go, I will do an outro for... Oh, there it is! <gasps> I found it! Hey! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Really? Yeah. It really, really. Like it's just around the, the corner here. Right there. I don't know. Should I go down now and check it out, or should I? Here, let's do the let's do the trees first. We'll do the trees, and then uh, once we have all the trees, we'll go we'll go and check it out. I'll turn on my filters as well. Steven! Steven, have have the filters ready. Yeah, get off the phone. I'm recording now. Okay. Somebody was asking who Steven is. Steven's my like little stagehand guy. You know you are. You yeah, you said everything for me. So he turns on the filters when I need it. That or coffee. If you know, if I run out of coffee, Steven go gets goes and gets me more. I'm just kidding, Steven's not real. But it's funny. <laughs> She's like, tee -hee. <laughs> Oh no, it didn't make it all the way down. No. I'm glad to get the baby trees too. Don't chop down the baby trees. Down. I've never seen a, a server where these have gone fully grown. Chop and chop, chop, chop. There we go. And then drop. Drop, drop, drop it like it's cold. I love how he did the, uh, like the frost, or the, it's not fog. What is it? I guess it'd be frost. That's a little one. That, I felt bad about that one. Not really. Wait, does it slide? Oh no, it does not slide. <sighs> no sliding today. All the ice trees. <laughs> the snow glows white on the mountain tonight. Not a default to you to be seen. A kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm the king. The wind is howling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a swirling lumber inside. Couldn't keep it in. <laughs> Hoover knows I've tried. <laughs> don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good lumber, Jack, you've always wanted to be. <laughs> She's like, stop singing. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Zoop. Come here. Come here, you. <laughs> it's, they are so shiny. I love the reflection off these things. Man, that is a that is awesome. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. One more. But oh, so delightful. 
And since we got updates to default, wait, since we got updates from default Dio, let us know, let us know, let us know. Somebody asked me why I was singing so much inside my videos. Well, um, preferably because I like to sing. I might not be like the best singer in the world, but I do like singing. So, <laughs> jamming. It's better than the, uh, the bell sound music in the background. Kind of. I mean, some of you might enjoy that sound. Ooh. And I do every once in a while. I'll just sit here and listen to it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Another person was asking me, why don't you ever edit? Well, because if I were to edit, you wouldn't get all of this. Like, every little tidbit of everything that I've done. That we do. Wow. These are actually going back, like, really fast. Mm, don't worry about the singles. Um, see how that one split? We'll grab that one, and then we'll call it. We'll call it good. When we get it back down there, do you want to just take it to your base, and we'll split it up evenly? Oop. One thing I need to do while we uh, while we go check this out is how much this stuff cost, because that was something I had meant to do last time. Oh no! The baby tree fell down the hole. Hold up. Go get it. Come here, buddy. I saved you. It's <laughs> just like, oh no. <laughs> All right, drop off here. So cute. Ah, oh, so cute. Ah. Oh. Just throw him. Throw him. Ooh. Don't worry about hitting the truck. It's a rental. I got the extra insurance for five dollars. Oh gosh. Oh man. Is it is it lagging on the actual video or test test test? Nope. Sounds good. Okay. We'll keep going then. Mm, now something we need to be mindful of is ownership of the wood itself. Because if you're the one that chopped down most of them and we're chopping them all up and trying to put them into the back of the truck. If you're the last person to have chopped them, and I'm the one putting them in the back of my truck, it's going to glitch out. So, we just need to be mindful of that. Make sure make sure any of them that you cut up, you don't actually put into the truck. Put them beside the truck. I'll make sure I hit them once with an axe. Chop them all at their joints. Just like this. Oh, come on. Maybe if I can get a single chop on there. Come on, code. There we go. Got it. Chop, 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 chop. By the way, somebody in the in the comments section said, "Why don't you ever collab with people on Xbox?" I do. Most of the time, they don't have microphones, and I have collabed in the past. Usually, I'm on PC; they're on Xbox, but it has happened before. And then uh, the other one was, do you collab or could we collab even though I don't have a microphone? Yes, we. I've done that as well. So, and the collaboration is basically that you you record and the other person records, and both of you release at the same time on your channels, promoting each other. That's the whole the whole point of collaborations is to promote one another, and uh, it's usually like big channels. If you ever watch like Markiplier and um, Jacksepticeye, and they will collab with each other to, you know, do a cross, cross fan um, picking ups to get more fans, and that's fine and dandy. But I mean, I've never, I've never done the collaboration to like gain more fans. Um, I used to. Actually, I take that back. I have done that. It's, you know, it's self-promoting and it's promoting somebody else's channel as well. So. Oh, oh, why can't I click? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, like, clicked it three times and that was crazy. Okay. So because I'm the last one to chop it, it should turn it into my wood. Oh, hold up. Get in there. Uh, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about, 
Um, so this one right here, I've not touched yet. So as you can see, it's it's got like some mega lag to it. If I click and then move my camera like this, up oh, like this, you can see the grab point is way over here. That's how I know that I'm not the network owner of that piece of wood. All right, now let's check it out with a piece that I've got. This one's, this one's one that I own. I try and do that same thing, doesn't work. Why? Because that piece of wood is being generated on my client. That's one way that you can tell, okay? So absolutely, this is, this is a trick to teach you guys. Oh, click, move, oh, way off center. See that? Then when I rotate it. That's also how I um, grab stuff that is like nowhere near me. Like, wolf, watch this, watch this, watch this. Wolf, wolf, check this out. Like, if, you, if you're if you looking at this, this is, it's like telekinesis. I've got a long reach. <laughs> That's just because I'm ro rotating it. 11. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Woo! Oh, Stranger Things. Oh, nice. Sorry, I didn't get the reference. All right, so I'm gonna hit this once. That should give it ownership to me. Look at that, look, 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 look. So now, now I, can't, I can't do that, that little trick. That's because this is now under my network ownership. So if you've been following along with my um, how to program series and sorry, learn Roblox. This is one thing that I talk about the network ownership. One of the things that causes your guys' uh, trucks to glitch out is not being the network owner of um, a present or a piece of wood. Somebody else is the owner of that particular thing. So to fix that, chop the piece of wood, open the box, whatever it is that's in the back of your car that's causing it to glitch out, and you should be fine. So like these pieces, they'll, they'll be great. This is good. This is a good thing. Oh my gosh, dude, we are gonna have so much wood. I guess I guess I should say do that, do that. All right, there we go. One, two, there we go. It's so pretty. It's like this baby blue color. I love it. Where's Dig Dug at? Dig Dug needs to see this baby blue color. This is amazing. I think this should be his new logo. <laughs> chop, chop, and chop. And big chop. Grab this one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Somebody called me an expert stacker the other day. It's amazing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, the update video, it got 10,000 views within its first 24 hours. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. I cannot thank you enough. And to all the, like, what is it? 100 new subscribers from yesterday. Thank you, and welcome to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification button. Or something. Is that what YouTubers are doing now? Is that what, is that what I'm supposed to call out? <sighs> She's like, yeah, that's it. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button down below. Oh, uh, by the way, are, is your sound recording? Like, are you recording my voice? Can you hear my voice? I didn't even think about asking them about that. You might need my audio file whenever we're done. Oh, we'll get it worked out. That's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hard hat zone. Look out, everyone. Is this OSHA certified axes? Oh. By the way, OSHA is like a, a safety and inspection kind of place. Oh, gosh. And let's just chop, chop, chop. Here we go. Choppy, chop, chop, time. There's one. Ooh, 
that might have been too thin. Maybe not. Uh oh. I lost it. I lost it. No! Got it. I'm blind! Why are, why are you blind? What happened? Can you see? What's going on? What's going on? Hold still! Is it in your eyes? <laughs> too bright? <laughs> oh no. Can you fix it? Uh oh. Wait, is that? That's not mine. Hit it with an X. There we go. Now it's mine. And hit. No? Oh no. Does that mean the video's ruined? Are, are you okay? Okay. As long as you think you'll be good. I mean, can you see? Clearly, now, that the rain is gone? <laughs> Never mind. You probably didn't get what I said. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. What happened to my money? I don't remember. Why? I had 20 mil. Oh, it's okay. I'll go play in a public server again and it'll go back up. Usually it like maxes out at 20 mil because people give me money like all the time. Like, all the time. Not that that's a bad thing at all. Just saying. Oh, no. I lost it again. No. It's gone. All right, hit, drop, hit, drop, hit, drop, hit, drop. Collecting all the wood. Amazing. Oh my gosh, we still got like so much to go. Wait, can I grab that? There we go. Mm, let's see. This should only take one, two, three hits, and I will destroy the entire thing. Or, I mean, three chops. Mind sharing your ideas of this wood besides the snowboards? Um, yes. I was thinking about a conveyor belt system. So, you know how wood always falls on top of itself, and then, like, your conveyors can never get any more wood out of it? Like, so as you chop wood and it comes up and it falls off onto a conveyor belt system, eventually that stacks up and then the conveyor belt gets stuck and then it jams up all the rest of your conveyor belt. So at the end of your conveyor belt, build a slide that is like, like here's where the end of the conveyor is and the slide is like this, right? And as the wood comes down, it will fall on into that slide and go along the ice and you can make it as long as you want. You can make it the length of your entire base, right? And once it does, it would slide down and then it would get stuck at the end. And then you could fill it all the way up from the end. See? And if it's made on the ice wood, then it should inherit the properties of everything sliding so it could go to the very end. But these are all just theories and ideas. Uh, the other idea was... Um, Having two conveyors of opposite directions at each end that will bring the wood up to a height and then drop it down a slide that will slide to the opposite end where the other conveyor belt is and then it would hit like a little bump and then jump up onto the next conveyor belt. So you could have a continuous stream of... <laughs> your brain hurts. Continuous stream of uh, ice flow. So it'd be like an ice river. Of course, then if it ever got stuck at the bottom, you'd have to manually put it back on the conveyor belt system. But the ideas are there. Come on, click, 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 click. There we go. Okay. These should be good. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop spinning. There we go. Good. 
good. Okay, so for those of you that read the title, and if I actually go and check out the uh, the lighthouse, um, just stick with us. Hang tight. P please don't skip. We're uh, we're collecting up all of the wood right now, which is going to be amazing. Just saying. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Stop. 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 There we go. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Here, let me let me get this to settle down some. Gonna have to like run into a wall or something to get it to settle. Just the smallest, tiniest bump. <gasps> no! Too much of a bump! Too much bump. Too much. Too much. Actually, do you think this is enough or should we keep going for all of it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's slippery slidey stuff. Come on. Just settle, settle, settle. There we go. Okay. Need to take this one. Drop it lengthwise like that. Same with this one. Lengthwise. Good, good. Five more minutes. Saddle. There we go. For those of you that don't know what I was doing right there, basically I'm making sure that all the wood settles into a place where it feels comfortable because they have feelings too. Um, no, not really. <laughs> all right, drop it down like that. Turn this one sideways like that. Okay, okay, we should be good. Should be good. Let's go ahead and chop this one, chop this one, chop this one. Chop this one, and go. One, two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back over there. Two. Do you have a conveyor belt system to drop everything in? Oh, no. Okay, I do. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. There you go. One. Two. Three. Uh oh, uh oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Three. Four. Oh, man. I don't know if we're, we're going to have time. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hit that little one right there. There's a little one over here. Okay, uh, all the ones that I've hit, you can go ahead and grab and, and toss them to the back of the truck. Just be very careful because they, they will be glitchy. Um, um, what? <laughs> We're getting kind of fooled here. I'm afraid it will explode in my face. It probably will, but that's okay. It'll make for an interesting video. <laughs> and one more, one more. Oh my gosh. So this is this is what a truckload of ice wood looks like after you've harvested it all. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Stuff is falling. Ice wood is falling out my truck because I didn't stack correct. Oh gosh, okay, I got it. Ooh. And you go right there. Oh, no. Uh oh. Come here, you. You know what? <sighs> it's nice and cool. Boop. There we go. Let's go. And I, I, by the way, I love how we jump into the top of the trucks. So realistic. I mean, that's that's how I jump into my car. And then we're, no, I just dropped a piece. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Stuff is falling. Leave it. Leave it. We're, we're fine. Where's the TNT? You got the TNT? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh no. No physics. Eee! <laughs> oh man. Come on. Come on. Almost. Ugh. Oh man. That is crazy. Oh no, we dropped a big one. Okay, that that was actually a really big piece, so we're we'll stop for that one. Ooh, gosh. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, here we go. And we're driving, and we're driving, and we're driving. <laughs> That's what you tell your good boy? What? Oh, your doji. <laughs> My doge. Stay. Stay. <laughs> oh, that's a, you know that's an actual tree, the dogwood. A dogwood is a tree. Why are we going so slow? The engine's cold, that's what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Defaultio, next tree, dogwoods. Give them flowers. <laughs> Agreed. <clears throat> well, uh, my daughter suggested magenta, and um, he heard me. <laughs> it was on uh, the live stream, and uh, or not the live stream. It was on the the one where me, Hope, and Oliver were all playing tag on lumber, and she said. Defaultio needs to add magenta colored trees. We're all playing lumber. And he shot me a message and said, Magenta, eh? <gasps> I was like, oh my gosh, Defaultio! Oh, the good old days. Man, no! Uh, leave it, leave it. Oh gosh, we are so glitched out right now. This isn't even funny. Like. We are moving at the speed of snail. A very fast snail, but a snail nonetheless. Oh my gosh. Can you see the rocks? Maybe a rock? Rocks don't really move, so I would say we're, we're cruising faster than a rock. What's the saying? A rolling stone gathers no moss or something like that? Oh my gosh! Uh, Icewood debris left all along the, the Interstate 43 as Code and Wolf make their escape. After robbing the ice tree bank... <laughs> oh no, there's another piece! No! And another piece! And another piece. <laughs> the breadcrumbs, so we can find our way back. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so slow. Why is it so slow? I don't understand. Like, there should not be this m much physics problem going on. What was that? No, no, stop, stop. Oh. No! What happened? Oh, you got in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to just blame this all on you, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is... No, no. <laughs> this is all our fault. Oh, man. That is so much. We can't we can't leave that huge pile there. Somebody to come along long and hit it with a car, pop a tire, then we'd get sued. Be like, they left it, Sir Judge Honorable Defaultio. We the court and charge code primate with reckless endangerment of ice wood. Wait, what? Objection. The update's only been out for three days. There are no rules and regulations to the ice wood yet. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> if I could hear you laughing, I would take over. <laughs> All right, and we're almost good. We're almost good. Do you have a USB hub? They usually cost like eight to twelve bucks. I just thought about this. You could take and plug in the USB hub and it will give you four USB ports off a single USB. By the way, if you didn't know, USB Universal Serial Bus um, has the ability to have up to 254 or 255 uh, individual... Oh, that's why. <gasps> no. I just figured it out. You know what our problem is? Take a wild guess. I'll give you one hint. No clue. I just explained it a second ago about items and things and differences. Network ownerships of things that somebody bought. Physics! <laughs> um, <clears throat> did you buy a piece of TNT? At the very beginning of this episode? Did you place it into the back of my car? Is this that piece? Now it's not. I mean, I just opened it. Don't like. <laughs> okay, so now that I've opened it, it should be under my ownership. So we should be okay. Oh, gosh. I'm going to laugh so hard if that was the only thing. You know what? Leave, leave it. Leave it. Let's just get back. We got, we got to get you home. Oh, gosh. Watch the driving be no problem now. <laughs> God, why were you so slow? Well, there's this TNT, you see. Oh, no. More stuff has fallen out. Physics are going crazy. We're just, we're going to do the best we can. I would say limit it to maybe one or two pieces. That or do solo mode. Because the, the network ownership... What happened? What would happen if you blew it up right now? We would have a hilarious episode that would probably get billions of views. Probably not billions of views, but just saying. <laughs> She's like, worth it? No! Let's ice wood! <laughs> oh. What is this? Intel Place? Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, I did it. I said it. What? <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. And it's lit, it's lit, back up, back up. Look out below. <laughs> okay, it really wasn't, wasn't too spectacular, but still a good explosion. Here we go, okay, cool. And drop. We are going to drive backwards the rest of the way of the episode. Mm, here we go. Okay. We're almost there. Almost there. Now when we get back, um, jump out and go change my... Oh no, there's another piece. Go change the uh, conveyor belt that I'm about to drop all this stuff on to uh, 2.8 eight by three, whatever, wherever the biggest ones are. You just notice the ramp that throws the rocks. Oh, the, where the rocks come out. Oh man, I've done episodes of me like walking up that thing, long planking across it, going inside the cave, using TNT on the bricks that are up there back whenever it was stuck. Like, <sighs> oh, man, it is getting late. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. By the way, huge shout out to her her mom and to her parents for letting her stay up late to play. I know that it is a school night, but it's also, she's two hours ahead of me. No, two hours behind me, which allows me to actually play because my normal times are 8.30 p.m. to 10.30, oh gosh, 
Oh gosh, it's not gonna work. Oh, I'm still making sleds. Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, I think I just barely got it. That, that looks like it might be a little small, but that's okay. Let's start tossing in. I'll make sure that they get stopped here. Maybe I should put the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put this in. I need to uh, turn, turn, and then rotate one time like that. Good. Now that should stop it. That'll stop the wood and then it'll start growing on the opposite side. Oh no, it's too, it's too, <gasps> no. Okay, we need to come back a, back a unit. that there we go that way boom boom perfect these hatches I love these hatches these are like the best things in sliced bread because it'll it'll stop the wood from going through so it can't lag itself out whoa uh oh it's been a while since the quad cell has been turned on too hold on gotta fire it up there we go There we go. One of the one of the biggest things that made me famous right there when the chop saws came out. I'm like, <laughs> chop saws? Just make four of them. <laughs> Are these getting stuck? Oh no, we have a jam. This is Code Primate. Your eyes in the sky. It looks like we have a traffic jam down here on Third and Avenue or something. All right, let's get the the firewood out of the way. Good, 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 good. And then this. Whoa. That is so cool. Uh-oh, we had a piece get lost. What are you doing? Come back in there. Boop, there it goes. All right, and off we go. I guess I could park this better. Hold on. Oh, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Hold on. Click, click. Oh, I'm doing a horrible parking job. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no, no, stop, oh, stop, no. Uh-oh, now I need to open a present, because now it's stuck. Why can't I open that? Oh, come here, you. Open. Open. And placed. Fine, that's, that's good. And it's upside down. And it fell. Okay. <laughs> now that's why you need a cleanup crew. Uh, nah. Nah, it's fine. It's and you know I don't I don't need to clean anything. It's it's cool. There we go. Now we just drop it right there. Woo! Oh come on, come on. You know I've never thrown this much into a conveyor belt system before. So I have no clue what's going to happen to it. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck at the end. And we'll split this up once uh, once we get to the very, very end. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Go, 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 go. And... Go. Look, I'm a great assembly worker. Put in lines, row by row, raise your hand, work all day. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded like school. <laughs> oh wait, it is. You got the sniffles. <gasps> no sniffles. 
Mm. Anybody else sleepy? I'm just I'm sleepy. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. We're like twelve pieces away. I don't even know if that went on the conveyor belt. I'm just trying to get it off the truck. It's about to say boat. <laughs> There's no boats in Lumber Tycoon 2? Well, maybe. There's a lighthouse. We definitely know there's a lighthouse. Somebody said it was a, a Gek reference. Gek's the guy that's like, my boat shop's down here somewhere. We all know that there's not an actual boat shop down there. I don't think, like I, I think it's a big mystery. Like, oh, boat shop's coming soon. And then, like, the boat shop never comes. So. And the reason I don't think that the boat shop's going to be coming anytime soon is because I've been across the ocean. We got a jam. I'll see what the problem is here. Well, looks like something got stuck in there on the other side. Just got to come under this side. There you go. There it is. That piece right there, see? That was too small, it couldn't come out. Got the rest of these, we just toss them in like that, and away we go. <laughs> oh man, look at the mess we're making. Glorious. <laughs> you love that voice? Well, see, the problem is. <laughs> okay, that should be the last one. I'm gonna drive the truck around to the opposite side. We'll pick up half of the load. We'll drive it over to your base. Make sure it gets dropped on there and gets saved. And we'll call it a good, good thing. It's time. No, let's go. Quickly, quickly, we can finish. Tell mom just two more minutes. Mom, two minutes, please. Please. We're almost done. Almost done. She say no. Oh no, don't log out. She said two more minutes. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. All right. Come help me fill this. Boom. I'm trying I'm trying to grab the bigger pieces. That way you get more. You, you do you yeah. do you have the power? The power of ease. Yeah. Okay. So this should be plenty to build an ice rink. By the way, uh, before we started recording, she actually has one of the the hockey, the air hockey tables, with the the little puck in the middle and stuff like that. And uh, I came up with the idea of what if you made like an actual hockey arena. And you used axes as hockey sticks. So, I got projects. I got ideas. I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon, but they're there. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. You think that's good? Do you, do you have enough? Do you need more? I want to make sure we get it on your base and saved. Oh, yeah. You... They're like ice blocks. What? Ready? Set. Go. Do, 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 do. We're not going anywhere. Why are we not? No, rev the engine. There. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 There we go. So close. Oh my gosh. We are 50 minutes into the video. What? It's a little bit longer than I was expecting. Just saying, okay? It's not exactly. Where would where would you like it? Where to? Where to? Oh, whose signature is that? That is an amazing signature. I love that guy. This guy makes great videos. Just saying. <laughs> Just here's fine. Okay. So you go ahead and save your base. Save, 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 save. Actually, here. I know how to do this. Transfer, uh, transfer. Give me a dollar. Send, send a dollar to me. Give me your money. 
I'm at uh, last numbers are two four five, so it goes up to two four six. That will save both of your base, both my base and your base. That way, the wood is over on my base will save, and vice versa. Boom, done. All right, bust out your axe. And here, let's do it right here, because I mean, I just have a feeling about this spot. Perfect. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, co-primate, joined in a collaboration with Wolf Has Quack. Not Wolf Has Quake, which, by the way, I need to fix in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Check out those awesome links in the description, like I'm supposed to call out all the time, and notification bells. You know, you know the normal routine. Whatever anybody else says, just pretend like I said that, and we'll call it good. Uh, check out the link in the description for uh, Wolf's channel as well. And as always, I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. And outro. Thank you.